Hundreds are dead and over 100 more are wounded in what's being called the deadliest ever attack by an Islamic extremist group in Egypt. It happened in the country's North Sinai province. Local reports say the attackers detonated bombs in a mosque and then opened fire on those trying to run from the explosion. President Trump tweeted about the attack, saying in part, the world cannot tolerate terrorism. We must defeat them militarily and discredit the extremist ideology that forms the basis of their existence. CBS News foreign correspondent Elizabeth Palmer is following this story from London. Elizabeth, the death toll continues to rise in this attack. What more can you tell us about the victims and perhaps why they may have been targeted? Well, traumatized witnesses have been de describing what happened and slowly a picture is emerging of an organized and very sustained attack that was really savage. About 40 armed men appear to have driven up to this mosque um, and uh, detonated a bomb outside, but it, it doesn't look as if that bomb had uh, any, in any intention but to draw people outside. The mosque was filled with worshippers at Friday prayers. When they came streaming out, uh, these gunmen who had placed themselves around the site in very Various positions just opened fire and mowed the people down. Uh, most horrifying, perhaps, is the fact that they appear to also have hidden some of their number. And so when the ambulances came to take away the wounded and the dying, they opened up on the ambulances too. Um, these worshippers will have been Muslims, and uh, if all the experts are right, this attack was carried out probably by the Sinai affiliate of ISIS. Uh, it may seem odd that they open fire on fellow Muslims, but uh, these worshippers will have been part of the Sufi branch of Islam who are considered apostates by the extremists. In fact, just last year they kidnapped two of the senior Sufi leaders in Sinai uh, and beheaded them on camera. Uh, Elizabeth, what you're describing is a particularly brazen attack. Forty gunmen or thereabouts in broad daylight on the street opening fire on worshippers as they run. What's the Egyptian government's response been to this extraordinary breach of everyday security? Well, uh, President Sisi went on national television looking quite shaken, I must say, to uh, assure the nation that he would respond with brute force. But the fact is that the Sinai has been violent and dangerous and unstable for 10 years. It has been especially bad in the last three or four years. The Egyptian uh, military and the police have carried out three big operations to try and catch militants um, and, and to quash this extremist movement. And they have failed, clearly. Uh, and and, and y you point out that it was brazen, but... Bear in mind this happened in a smallish city where there would have been a, f a smallish detail of very poorly trained local police. It's not as if there was a big, highly trained uh, response force in the area. So um, although the police claimed that they shot and killed 15 of the militants, probably the rest got away. Elizabeth Palmer, thank you so much for your reporting.